1985, CN decommissioned the rail lines in Bruce and Gray counties. Later, in 1988, the Ontario Trails Council was formed to develop these decommissioned rail lines into walking and hiking trails. In 1990, the Saugeen Rail Trail Association, SRTA, was registered with the Canada Revenue Agency as a charitable non-profit organization with a mandate to build, preserve, maintain, and enhance accessible, safe, non-motorized trails for today and tomorrow. In 1995-97, Southampton, Port Elgin, Saugeen Township, and Bruce County acquired the land for trail development and began the work to develop trails connecting Bruce County, Port Elgin, and Southampton communities. In 2000, amalgamation connected Southampton, Port Elgin, and Saugeen Township into the town of Saugeen Shores. Then in 2004, with the implementation of the town of Saugeen Shores Parks and Trails Master Plan, the Saugeen Rail Trail became an integral part of the community of trail systems. Our tour begins at the northern trailhead of the Saugeen Rail Trail Linear Park. The Southampton Rotary Memorial Garden was established in 2009 and the original gazebo was also constructed that year. This new pavilion, sponsored by the Southampton Rotary Club, was built in 2017 and contains a historical plaque depicting the history of the Southampton train. There are also private memorial plaques in the pavilion. This garden site also contains an emergency bicycle repair station. In this area, 40 memorial trees have been planted and five memorial benches provide rest for weary walkers and cyclists. Our memorial street art bicycle rack also gives bicycles a safe resting place and a water fountain quenches the thirst of the many trail users passing by each day. The main rail trail section runs from its Peel Street trailhead south to Port Elgin parallel to Highway 21, past the Hurricane Hazel site, memorial benches, and a historical plaque of the Hurricane Hazel train wreck disaster in 1954. The trail connects to Southampton Rotary's Perkins Park at the intersection of McNabb Street and Highway 21, where you will find picnic tables, washrooms, and our Saugeen Rail Trail storage garage. The trail continues south under a canopy of trees alongside well-groomed backyards and fields to Highbury Farm, where fresh market garden produce is available before crossing Highway 21. This busy crossing at Highway 21 requires extra caution and patience from trail users. Users are asked to get off their bicycles and look several times before crossing. The trail continues south through a natural bird sanctuary. Dave Cheer, a long-standing board member and volunteer, set up the Blue Bird Box program 10 years ago along this area. This sanctuary is greatly appreciated by many bird watchers and wildlife photographers. When we cross Concession 10, we enter the town limits of Port Elgin. At the start of this section, users encounter the Memorial Gazebo Rest Area. This is the original gazebo built in 2009 that was relocated to this spot after the new gazebo was built in 2017. This two kilometer section was paved in 2019 and is popular for all forms of wheel sports such as inline skating and skateboarding. You will also see young ones trying out their new skills on tricycles, training wheels or their first two wheeler. Mums and Tots also enjoy stroller outings on this part of the trail and you will see an array of accessibility vehicles ridden by users with all levels of physical capabilities. Residents of the properties adjacent to this section of the trail have taken ownership for maintaining and beautifying the trail along their property lines. With such variety in the way our trails is accessed, and the increasing numbers of people choosing to stay active on our trail system, it is imperative that all users practice trail etiquette and adhere to our code of conduct. Be sure to walk and ride on the right so faster people can pass you on the left. If walking with a friend, keep an eye and ear out for people coming behind you so you can both move to the right for them to pass. If walking or running with your headphones on, be especially careful to stay to the right as you may not hear the bell or voice of a person coming behind you. When cycling, lower your speed appropriately when passing people, especially from the rear. 
Ring your bell when you get close to people that you are passing and announce that you are passing on the left. Be aware that some people may not hear either your bell or verbal cue due to hearing challenges or headphones, so always slow down and pass very carefully. If you are a road cyclist for whom speed is important in your training, you are advised to not use the trail for your high speed training. As we continue along this paved area of the trail, notice the memorial trees and benches as we arrive at the River Street Crossing. On the east side, pay special attention to our sponsor board. Thank you so much to all of our generous corporate sponsors and our faithful membership for their long and dedicated support. Jane McDougall is a longtime rail trail supporter who made a generous donation to make the paving of this section possible. Her desire to help people maintain a healthy, active lifestyle in our community has certainly bore fruit. As you cross River Street, you enter the Port Elgin Rotary Accessible Trailhead and the replica of the Port Elgin train station. The train station contains a fully accessible washroom and pavilion. Inside the pavilion, notice the wall depicting the history of the railway system in Port Elgin dating back to 1872. Our second emergency bicycle repair station is also here. The funds for this project were raised by a special Saugeen Rail Trail Fund raising campaign called the All Aboard Campaign, with the Port Elgin Rotary Club being the main contributor and many other community members chipping in. A commemorative plaque also recognizes the contributions of our SDSS high school students and their teacher, Bud Halpin, from the construction technical class who built this wonderful structure in 2012. Take some time here to read about our railway history. You may recognize someone in the photos. This was truly a community project. Further south, as we cross Elgin and Mill Streets, notice the permeable ground reinforcement ecocaster system. This is a test area for this new environmentally friendly paving alternative. Just past Green Street, you will encounter a large maple tree in the very middle of the trail. As we cross Gustavus Street, take care. The street can be busy when school is in. The trail travels parallel to Saugeen District Senior School, along the full length of the sports fields with three access trails into the school property. After crossing Louis Street, we find ourselves back into a beautiful, heavily treed section of the trail. 500 meters down, we arrive at a Y in the trail. The left section takes us to the scenic Mill Creek Bridge. This decommissioned railway bridge was converted into a pedestrian crossing in 2009. The bridge spans Mill Creek and offers a panoramic view of the Mill Creek Valley. As you cross the bridge, you find yourself on the Bruce County Rail Trail. This section of the trail continues on to Paisley and is destined to link up with the West Links Golf Residential Development. As we return to the main trail, we head west towards Bruce County Road 25. On our left, we parallel the development of the new Lamont Sports Park and the earth moving equipment converting this huge gravel pit into a new multi-use ballpark. A non-motorized walking cycling trail is planned around the circumference of this new development with access trails into the Lamont Park from the rail trail. If you cross Bruce County Road 25, the trail becomes a dual parallel trail with a separate AV user section. This trail will take you to the Saugeen Shores town limits at the Bruce Saugeen Town Line Road. The Saugeen Rail Trail is just one of many trail systems within Saugeen Shores. Feel free to pick up a trail map at the Memorial Gardens in Southampton or at the River Street location in Port Elgin to find how to access these many trails. The development of the Saugeen Rail Trail over the last three decades has been a sustained cooperative effort of many dedicated community volunteers. The citizens of Saugeen Shores and our many tourist visitors thank the Saugeen Rail Trail Association for its vision, hard work, and for providing us with this wonderful four-season recreational playground.